up mga under? Andito naman tayo sa another episode ng Grace Park V. This is your host, Elsius Dilumbuhi. For another how to content. So, this morning, pumunta ako sa KK Hospital. And yun na nga, medyo uh, bad vibes kasi naghintay ako na matagal uh, just to deliver an implant. Okay? Or deliver an implant or collect our backup implant from yesterday's case. So, after that, uh, I received an email from Brunei and then they are asking for better pricing sa aming cover implant packages. So, since 2018, I've been, I have been traveling from Singapore to Brunei, Brunei to Singapore. Balikan lang parang kiyapo, kubaw lang ginagawa ako doon para ma-penetrate yung market. Okay. So, with this email, I am hoping that by this month eh, makuha namin yung cochlear implant case sa 20th of November 2019. So, yun na nga, uh, pagka basang pagkabasa ko nun, sobrang positive niya, naging concern ako kasi, una sa lahat, eh, meron akong conference na atin ng end of this year, which is APSCI. So, Sabi ko, oh shucks, wala na akong oras and we still have some meetings to attend to for today. So, ginawa, ginawa ko, mabilisan lang, uh, I traveled with my office manager to Raffles Hospital, then deliver our spill, and hopefully, uh, nakumbinsin namin yung doctor na piliin yung brand namin. And then, we go back to the office and doon na ako nagtatype. Uh, making some phone calls para ma-apply ko yung aking visa for Japan. So, for today's vlog, okay, ang i-discuss natin is how to apply single entry visa to Japan. Bakit single entry? The reason why I choose single entry is parang wala naman akong, o nagiging truthful lang sa sarili ko na for this year or maybe next year, I'm not sure if I'll gonna travel to Japan. Okay? And yung walkthrough na gagawin ko for today is very straightforward. Okay. Siyempre, kahit pa paano, o siguro rough estimate, uh, you could finish the whole application for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Okay. Um, nagkaroon lang ako ng drawback ng bahagya dahil medyo later on yung didiscuss ko sa inyo. So number one, unang mong dapat gawin is sa Google, type in mo. Uh, Japan Embassy Singapore. Okay. Pumunta ka ngayon sa website nila. In their website, okay, next mong gawin is print your checklist or yung mga visa requirements. Ganun lang. Okay. Sa visa requirements, nandun na lahat. Okay. Number three is follow that yung mga requirements na kailangan mo which is which are the following or which O yung mga kailangan mo is Ito yung list okay. Nahirapan pa ako sa grammar okay. Una, kailangan meron kang valid na passport Paano yung valid na passport? Sa passport mo, dapat uh, may at least 2 pages kang libre okay. And bukod dun, eh, dapat eh, hindi siya mag-expire in the next 6 months okay. Number 2, syempre yung application form Kailangan pilapan mo yung application form and then kung sa mga details na need nila eh hindi sila satisfied baka mag-require pa sila ng iba pang mga documents for you and kung hindi mo alam siguro sulat mo na lang not applicable then anyhow bahala, bahala na during your application date uh, pag nandun ka na sa embassy number 3 dapat yung picture mo recent so, mga sir, ma'am, kung meron kayong mga ideal picture yan, hindi nyo siya pwedeng gamitin dahil ang requirement is within 6 months or bagong-bago sa video na to parang ginamit o sa video na to sa application na to parang within today also, nagpa-picture na ako para just to make sure na ma-maintain natin ang ating balpas sa ating visa application. Parang madusing na madusing yung dating. Okay. Uh, sumunod is syempre certificate of, em certificate of employment okay. Sa certificate of em employment Nakasulat doon kung uh, date Kung kailan ka nag-join sa company uh, Magkano yung salary mo uh, Is the visa application uh, Sagot pa ng kumpanya yun Or sarili mong gastos uh, 
And of course, yung huling-huli, uh, nakasulat doon na parang yung purpose ng uh, employment letter na yun para saan. Okay. Is it, uh, you're gonna use it for visa application paid by you or paid by the company. So, for this application, ang ginamit ko is paid by myself. Though may internal arrangement na ako ng kumpanya na uh, re-reimburse nila ako. The reason why I did that is napansin ko kasi pag sinulat mo doon na application by via uh, the company eh magre-require pa sila ng documents which is uh, ACRA. Itong ACRA document na to kailangan yung paper ma yung may-ari ng kumpanya. Paano na lang kung wala doon yung boss mo o yung director ng kumpanya or yung may-ari ng kumpanya? Mas mahihirapan ka. Okay. Sumunod is syempre yung e-statement mo or yung uh, kopya ng passbook, kung passbook man yung gamit mo na updated. Okay. Now, sa akin, ginawa ko is yung e-statement ko na lang galing sa website ng banko ko. Yun na lang yung print rate out ko. Hindi naman nila ni-require kung 6 months, 4 months or whatsoever. Basta yung recent lang na dapat updated. Bukod doon is yung e-ticket. Yung e-ticket is dapat from Singapore going to uh, Japan, then Japan to Singapore. So, parang I think it's the usual protocol nowadays dun sa mga bansa na pupuntaan mo. Kailangan pakita mo sa kanila na two ways. Okay? Hindi ka magti-TNT. Eh, ewan ko, may uso pa ba yung TNT ngayon sa sa iba't ibang bansa? I, I think so. Baka, di ba? Then, lastly, of course, yung ang pinaka-importante or usually na hinahanap sa overseas Filipino workers Singapore is yung ating tinatawag na Ministry of Manpower Passes. So, whether you're work permit holder, S-pass holder, or E-pass holder, kailangan mo lahat yun. Okay. Uh, Siyempre, papasirox mo siya front and back. And then, para doon sa mga bagong application, may QR code na na-scan mo sa app. Then, yun. Pa, ewan ko kung paano, paano nila check yun. I think yung serial yata, hindi yung IC number mo o hindi yung identification card number mo kundi yung serial number ng mismong card yung i-input mo doon. Okay? Now, let's say, for example, uh, hindi kayo makakapunta sa embassy. Um, pwede naman kayong mag-apply dun sa ng approval or approval letter ng author, authorization letter para meron kayong proxy na mag apply for you now, with the checklist nga pala, nakalim, almost I almost forgot na kung sakaling kailangan nyo ng template nandun na lahat sa check, uh, checklist okay? especially if you are opening it in your desktop meron dun yung mga link ng mga templates na pwede nyo pagayahan Okay, so that's all for today's vlog. Okay, hopefully you get your visa application soon. So, pupunta kayo end of this month, which is November 27 to December 2. Sana makapag-vlog tayo, collaborate, or whatsoever. Kung hindi pa kayo subscribe please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button. Share this channel also for more insights on how to's educational vlog or whatsoever to entertain you or if you're trying to look for something new na makakatulong sa inyo. So, this is Eros Yus Dilomboy again saying vlog everywhere because the future is already here and future is vlogging. See you soon. Bye!